Hey guys, we are here at CS 2019 and I hear there are some crazy things inside these buildings. Today we're going to go find the best and craziest tech of the expo. Let's go check it out. We are at the Hypervision stand at CES 2019 and behind me is a gigantic 3D screen. So I've seen these 3D fans in Johannesburg in South Africa and stuff, but like they've never been this big and this detailed. There's just been fans that spin around, but it looks like Hypervision are really up in the game here. On, the right, on my right hand side, you can see here there's like a fan and it's got like an LED strip on, so how it works if the LED strip lights up and spins really fast to create the images in it to 3D. On the left hand side you can also see there's a whole bunch of little images, like a, like it's great for like advertising in stores, maybe like in an airport it can show the weather in a very unique way, but behind me there's 77 fans that make up this huge like 3D without 3D glasses vision and I think it's really groundbreaking to have like this technology um, anywhere in your home, in the mall, in the airport, it makes for like a like a cool advert space for like anything you want to do really. Today we're at the Royal Booth looking at a bendable and foldable phone. It's crazy guys, you're going to be able to fold your phone and put it in your pocket soon. We're here with Benjamin at the booth and he's going to give us a tour on the device. This is the first time you've seen FlexPie before? Yes. Alright, well it's obviously here in tablet mode right now, 7.8 inch screen display. So we can go into the camera and obviously you're getting all your great selfies while in tablet mode. But then we flex and snap it here into into another camera, which we can use to shoot the convention hall. 20 megapixel camera on the other side. So from this little uh, more mobile version of the device, we can obviously switch over and start using it for phone calls as well. Uh, the device is available in China right now. They're using it as a tablet and a phone. Uh, and we will hopefully be rolling it out here around the US and around the world by the end of the year. That's so cool. And so, I mean, how many how many bends can you get from this? Well, we, we don't think you're going to break it. We have stress tested it. Uh, it can take over 200,000 bends. Uh, it's 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 fairly uh, fairly sturdy. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, you should. Oh wow! Royal developed the screen as well as the operating system. That's fantastic. So, uh, it's all proprietary. I'm bending a phone. That's really insane, that's really insane. And it, and it feels good, it's a good build, it doesn't feel like flimsy. Oh wow, that's it, hey? Half the size now, that is epic. That was the Royal Flex Pie. Hey guys, Marco here. We are at the Omron stand at CES 2019. I'm here with Keith Kirsten, who's going to tell us about this ping pong playing robot that you see behind me. Well, it's actually a ping pong playing tutor. His name is Vorpheus, okay. and it's actually our fifth generation ping pong playing tutor. And really, it's it's not really something we sell. It's not. This is one of our products, but it takes all of our technology, and it's kind of a nice demonstration to show how technology can actually help people to get better. So I see, I see it increasing the difficulty over time. So does it start off really subtle, and then as you get better at the game, it starts to get harder and teach you stuff? Exactly. So part of the intelligence that it has, the AI, is that it's analyzing how the player plays and also comparing that to known expert players and figuring out how to keep the play going and then help the player to get better. And then also ha offering some helpful tips and some coaching as well. And where to from here? I mean, what do you see her improving in the, in the next few years? Well, I think more and more on the, uh, on the intelligence side and being being able to better analyze players and then of course also the control technology is something that always improves. Like the, like the technologies that we have in our products for industrial automation, healthcare, uh, mobility and energy management, it's that same technology that we keep improving 
when it's what it does for real, and then also in Corpius as well. Okay. Oh, cool, awesome. So, guys, if you bad at ping pong, uh, better get to CS and try and improve your skills. I need to get back there and start like hitting that ball left, right, and center. So we are here at the Ford X stand at CS 2019 and behind this fence is a bag that follows you around the airport. I'm here with Yashin and she's going to tell us all about it. Sure, happy to. Thanks. So tell me, the bag, how does it work? How do, are there sensors or cameras or...? Right, good question. It, don't require, it doesn't require anything, it's through computer vision. So you don't, wear, you don't need to wear a wristband or APP or phone, it just sees you, like human eyes. Oh, wow. What is the battery life and the speed of it, max speed? Right, if you... Uh, keep it walking. Um, it may last about four hours, uh, up to 13 miles, and uh, maximum speed can go is six miles per hour. And then in terms of like uh, security in the airport, I mean, it's just got a normal battery that you can just go in and they won't have an issue? Right. We made our batteries uh, removable easily from the outside. So just take out the battery and TS will pass it. And the colors, I mean, what colors do you guys provide? We'll offer white, blue, gray, black. And also there's a transparent one, if you like. Oh, that, that, is, that is really cool. That's like really out there. And uh, availability and pricing? Right, it's available second quarter this year on Amazon. Okay, and price-wise, do you know what the pricing would be? How much it would cost? Right, it will probably, uh, it will be $799. Okay, that's awesome. And there's one size right now, hey? Right, right now it's only carry-on. Okay, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So we are at the Groove X stand at CS2019 and next to me, as you can see, I've just made a friend. This little cute robot next to me is called the Lovot. So the Lovot is basically robot meets animal meets pet meets cute little thing. And the idea of it is that you buy this, this Lovot and it becomes part of your life and your household. It walks around with you inside. It gets sad when you leave to go to work. It always asks for a hug and it's warm. So if you hug it, it's warm. It, um, it emits like a heat and you can tickle it. Um, it's just crazy. It's just it, and so it tracks my movement. So right now it kind of it kind of has this connection with me. So it just like looks at me and it's very interested in what I'm doing and my face. And I just want to I just want to be here all day with it. This is the cutest thing ever. It's got little two little feet, two little like uh, wheels that roll around. It charges for 15 minutes every hour. So when it needs to when it needs to charge, it goes into its dock and it charges itself. And then it comes out and asks you for hugs. Um, the whole idea is that the company wants it to live for 10 years, so it has birthdays. When you when it's when its birthday happens, you go to uh, the factory and you change its clothes. And then in 10 years time, you earn like an award for having it for 10 years. So think of it like a pet robot on the long-term purpose. We here at the Purse Song stand at CS 2019, and I'm here with Heaven, and she's going to tell me about this Lavi Bot, a self-cleaning cat litter box. So Heaven, tell me about the box and how does it clean itself? So this is a smart automatic litter box that connects your smartphone app. So what this does is it'll manually trigger a cleaning cycle when your cat leaves the Lavi Bot, and it'll automatically scoop up all the waste into a compartment, which you can bag and throw away at the end of two weeks maximum and you'll also get smartphone notifications about your cat's health like weight changes or anything like that or um, if there's any abnormalities in its use then you can tell that something's wrong with its health and get it checked out and it also has a auto refilling cycle um, so our product can auto refill itself uh, the amount of litter it lost when it was cleaning Fantastic. So yeah, so apparently the box cleans for number one and number two as cat urine uh, contracts into the sand, so it becomes like balls and the brushes clean, the clean it completely clean. I personally think that the health features of the device is pretty cool. So if your cat loses too much weight or if it's using it, the box for too long, then it will send you a message on your, on your smartphone and say, listen, something might be wrong with your cat, check it out. So it's not only just convenient to be cleaning the little box, but it's also something that could track your cat's health which is a huge deal because we know how expensive vet bills are. Thank you so much, Evan. Thank you.
so we are at the Newton's box stand and behind me is something called the Inu box, an automatic dog cleaning box that takes all the feces and all the urine away and puts it in a cute little bag. I'm here with Ivan and he's going to tell us all about this cool little invention. Well, there's a system for you to um, use with your dog in, inside your home. So you don't have to leave them all day long and struggling containing themselves. So what this does is it has built-in sensors that detect your dog activity. And whenever they go there and do their business, it will process everything, like liquid, solid, anything will go through a sandbox and then contain away in a bag, sealed away at the end of the day. So you just remove a seal bag and throw it away. Everything has been designed to have the minimum human interaction and to, you know, get me, uh, your dog trained at the moment. For example, every time your dog steps in and out and leaves some waste in there, uh, it will deliver a treat. So you get the positive reinforcement per use and eventually your dog will, your dog will be fully trained on the usage of the station. You were saying that the, the, the box also uses an app. Um, explain how that works. You can configure everything from your mobile application or in the console we have in the station. So um, it is built for you to use it whenever you're not home. So your dog can have a toilet available all the time. Um, so you just configure your schedule in the mobile application and it will be open and available for your dog to use. And availability and pricing, do you guys know what, you, what the plan is for that? Well, we're going to be launching on Kickstarter next, next week, um, so um, everything will be delivered by the end of the year for October, November. That's great. I wish you all the luck. Yeah, sure. So there you have it, guys, the in-new box, um, a self-cleaning dog toilet, and it's pretty cool. If you live in an apartment or a flat or something, this is probably what you want to get. Thanks for watching, guys. For all our CES 2019 coverage, check out Glitch Africa on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Glitch Africa, and our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages, all at Glitch Africa.